welcome to my channel. My name is Karen, and the name of my channel is Peer Girl for Puerto Rican Girl. I'm glad you're here, and I hope that everyone is safe. In today's video, as you can sort of see from the setup that I have right here, I'm going to be sharing with you the bracelets that I designed for this summer. Now, I'm not going that much out of the house, but I still wanted to design a couple of bracelets to wear here and there and still enjoy my charms. I'm also going to be sharing with you, as you could see from here, a couple of the other pieces of jewelry that I use with this bracelet, such as the rings and earrings. So without further ado, let me start showing you the bracelets that I designed. Okay, so the first bracelet that I'm going to show you is one that I'm currently wearing. And I will share it with you on my wrist, and then I will pick it up to show it in more details. But basically, it looks like this. I have the three charms that I got recently from eBay. We have the seashell in two tones, the sable dangle, and then also the song with the yellow enema. I place them on this cord which I'm using as a bracelet because I thought, you know, the yellow and the two-tone looks great on that um, core bracelet. And then also I'm stacking with this um, Reading Hearts bangle in the light blue color because I thought that the light blue complemented the gray from the core really well. Plus the light blue is representing the ocean and the sky uh, you know, when you're in the beach and you look at the sky, it's so beautiful, the colors hitting the ocean as well. So that's what I thought with this tag. So let me show you in closer details the bracelet. So here they are. I got this cord um, about yeah a few months ago from Rurala. And to be honest with you, I haven't used it that much until recently. I really love, as I said, how the yellow enema from the sun, as well as the gold from the seashell charm, complement the gray core. Um, if you're interested on in knowing how I style my core, let me know in the comment section down below. I will be more than happy to do maybe a short video showcasing how I style my core, but I just love it, love it very much. Okay, so let me place it down here. So I can showcase it while I show you my other designs. The next one that I'm going to show you is this bangle. Um, I have placed the charms from the recent summer's collection on this bangle, which is from Morris. Last Monday, I did a video where I showcased the bangle as well as the other pieces that I have from Morris. So if you're interested in watching that review, you could take a look at the video that I'm putting right here. Um, that video, by the way, is bilingual. So anybody, if you speak Spanish or English, you can take a look at it if you're interested. But I love this design with this gorgeous Puranos from the Summer Collection. It is kind of sad to know that the Summer Collection, it's going to be gone and it's not coming back until next summer. I still have items on my wish list from that collection, but I just, you know, gonna wait until it comes again. So basically, I place on it this gorgeous toning Muranos from that collection with the beautiful shades of blue and turquoise in the center. Just amazing. They truly look like waves. And then in the center, I place this seashell charm open work that is so gorgeous. Um, so I'm, I'm loving this. What I tend to wear with this um, bracelet are these, um, this set. This is the Midnight Star set from a couple of years ago. I think it came up maybe in 2014, 2013 for Christmas. And I love it very much because I think the blues that is coming up from the collection goes really beautiful with the Muranos from the summer collection. What do you think? I love it. I think it looks really nice. So that's one piece that I designed. And then the other one, the other bracelet is on the Pandora open bangle with the pave clasps, as you could see. 
And on it, I have placed these mint glitter Muranos. Um, I got these Muranos last year because I knew I wanted to create a summer design, but I never did create them. But recently, I got this charm from Rulala, and it's just so beautiful. Look at the side with the scissors in turquoise or light blue, it's so pretty. And then you have that fish with the turquoise and um, dark blue enema. Even the eye has a blue CC right there. And then you see the shell, it's so pretty. I have been enjoying a lot wearing mini designs on bangles. So I think it's also more comfortable for the summer. So I love that. And then because I have the seashell charm, I also wore my floating locket with these petites. So you have the uh, same fish as you could see from that charm, which is so nice, I love that. And then I place in here these bears. I think it's a bear holding another bear, right? Like a teddy bear. And it's so cute. I, I thought about this because of my kids. Uh, we love going to the beach and because of what we are experiencing with the COVID spread and all that, we haven't enjoyed the beach this year, so I thought putting it them in here because they this represent the two of them. So I thought it was quite nice for me to put them on the pendant. And then this one is the aquamarine, corresponding to the aquamarine petite, and I love the color of it to give some contrast with that with those two quite moranos. And then because I also have this other radiant heart bangle. I just love how these two look paired up. I'm gonna include a picture here where I did a stack with them, where I included that um, mesh bangle that I have right, right there, as well as these two bracelets and the Pandora Me Links bracelet. I just really love how this look. So I tend to wear this um, open bangle more with the cast up because I really love how it stuck with other bracelets. But for the summer and to showcase this beautiful design, I have been wearing it just, you know, with the charms up, and I really love that. With this, what I'm wearing is this pair of rings. Let me show you. One of them is the, the birthday bloom ring for the month of March, which is with the aquamarine stone. Put it on my finger, to see. And I thought this aquamarine was gonna be really beautiful with the aquamarine from the petite on the pendant, in the front locket. And then I'm also wearing, when I wear a couple of these, this ring that I got recently. These are the new ring corresponding to the month of the collection, the birthday collection that Pandora launched. I think it was in February of this year. And I thought this color of stone complemented really well the turquoise colors from the bracelet. And then that's how I'm wearing them. I don't tend to wear much often rings next to each other, the same, you know, one figure next to the other. I tend to do other combinations, but I think this really looks nice. What do you think? I think it looks really nice. Those two colors look really well together. Okay, so those are the bracelets that I have been designing for this summer. But then I have one more bracelet that I want to show you, which is more of like a full moments bracelet with a couple of charms that I'm showcasing here. So I'm gonna take all of them out, construct the bracelet and show it really quick to do because I think it's also a really pretty design. Okay, so now you can see that I have placed everything back in here on the bracelet. We have the corn, we have the Pandora open bangle, and then the Mores open bangle. But as you could see, they're empty because I'm gonna use all the charms that I had on those bracelets to showcase the one that I'm gonna show you now. And this bracelet is the sliding bracelet with the star, the asymmetrical star. It's gorgeous. I got this recently from the, I think, what's it, 342 that we had in March. And I love the asymmetrical star with the CCs as well as the stars at the end. So beautiful. 
And the reason why I place it here, of course, we could think about the ocean, about the sea stars, but the main reason for me is because, I don't know if you remember from my summer collection haul unboxing, that I said that the Munanos represent for me the bioluminescent base that we have in Puerto Rico. And you tend to go to those bay at night, of course, because you want to see the organism, the colors. And I thought about that when I was choosing this bracelet for this design. Also, when we, we were dating, not anymore because of the kids, my husband and I used to go to the beach at night to walk in the sun, very romantic. We have beaches in Puerto Rico basically everywhere. So we really enjoy the beach, but we also love to go at night and look at the stars. It's so beautiful. Okay, so the first thing I place on this bracelet is the clip. Um, these are the geometric clips, I think they're called, from the Winter Collection, the recent one, the one from 2019. I got them, I got these clips as part of the recent summer sale, and I thought that the scissors they had complemented really well the scissors on the stars of the bracelet. Then I place in here this leaf charm which is from the autumn collection of last year. And then when I thought about this, I thought about them being, you know, like the algae that we have in the ocean, or even like sometimes we get leaves from the trees surrounding the beach. So yeah, that's what I put this in here. Then we have the Muranos, gorgeous Muranos. Oh my gosh, I love this Murano so much from the summer collection from this year. Then we have the seashell charm also from the summer collection of this year. I placed the turquoise mint glitter Murano. Then this um, seashell charm in two tones and then the sailboat and this song. The same way I had it on that core. That's the center of the bracelet. Then we have the other mint glitter Murano. Then we have this charm with the fish. I don't know the name of this charm, but I'm gonna place it on here, just in case you wanna know. And then we have the complementary Murano from the Summer Collection, the other leaf, and then the other geometric clip. And that's the design. I just love the colors. I love that it's the sliding bracelet that I'm using to, you know, have a change in here. So I really love this design. Okay, so maybe I should place it over here. All right. Well, guys, that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Gracias.